just touch your stomach there. Come, come, come. In Jesus' name. Come, come, leave him, leave him. His stomach is something inside there. Brother, you feel things here? Huh? Yes. There are things in your stomach here? Yes, sir. Sometimes you feel like they are pulling your stomach. That, huh? is, true. that is true. In Jesus' name. Jesus. So what are you doing to him? Your spirit. Why are you blocking him? Why are you blocking him? Tell me why. I peace that stomach. The name of Jesus. I peace the stomach again. I remove you from that stomach. Come out from the stomach. In the name of Jesus. That lady there, lift your ha right hand there. He was wearing white. I release you. Come out, you demon. Behind, behind there. There's a demon in that room. What are you doing to her? These are hidden demons. There's a demon there that I'm seeing. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Cheris Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Imaganinisa. And standing with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Greeting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'd like to greet viewers all over the world. Standing here is Lawrence Paloi, uh, a pastor by a calling from Soweto. So today during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, he mentioned something like uh, was bothering me for a long time. Uh, that there was a something like spooling me inside my stomach. Indeed. Uh, that was the truth, Jesus. because I always felt like something is pulling me inside uh, my stomach. I felt, sometimes felt like I've swallowed a stone. Mm. Yes. And so how long have you been experiencing this, and how has it affected you? Uh, for a long time, I think it's from last year. Mm. Yeah, this thing was bothering me from last year. Uh, my stomach will always be painful and f full of, of air. So the thing I didn't understand what was going on in my life, but today, as uh, Apostle B.J. McGannis, I've revealed it and prayed for me. And so how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life? I feel so much happy because it's what I was praying for, for, for the man of God to locate me so that I may find help through him. I want to touch your head. How do you feel in your head? And normally I feel overwhelmed. Overwhelmed? Yes. How many pills are you taking for your head? Uh, now it's only two. Two? Yes. So you are free, you are healed. I command this demon to leave you today. You hear me? I command this demon to leave you. Don't leave your house. You hear me? Yes. Don't leave your house. Where's your husband? Come. This marriage is under attack. Brother, do you know that this lady think about leaving her house? Yes. She told you? Yes. So what do you say about this? This lady, she says she's tired. Yes, she told me. Huh? She told me. That she's tired. Yes. Sister, don't leave your house. You hear me? Yes. You must stay with him, no matter the situation. This man is facing a lot. You understand? Yes, that's true. Huh? That's true. And the family also. Yes. They're controlling you. Too much. And uh, if you are controlled by the family, this lady will go. 
Yes. She told you several times that you are controlled by the family. Yes, that's true. Eh? Yes, that's true. Come together. Let me lay my hands on you. You are coming here for the first time? No, it's not You have been here before? Time. Yes. When was that? Uh, the time that we, the church was at Winnie Mandel. Where? The time when the church was at Winnie Mandel. You came before? Yes. You were with this woman? No. You were alone? Yes. Don't leave your house. Don't leave your house. This man will prosper. This man will prosper in Jesus' name. <laughs> lift him up. You lift your husband. Lift your husband. Hug your husband. Hug your husband. Hug, kiss your husband. So, listen, my brother, I want to give you advice. Leave the family aside. Amen. You hear me? This lady, she is tired because of the family. This marriage is from God. Yes. God bless you. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Lara Tom Kabel. I'm from Pomolum. Yes, my husband, Katitelo um, Nekwambi. Today, during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. The pastor, he says, um, I want to leave my marriage. And that's, that's true. So what, what made you to want to leave your marriage? Were there any challenges? Please tell us. It's because of the family. They try to destroy our marriage and they control my husband too much. And how has that affected you? Very bad. And so do you confirm what Mama just said to be true? If yes, please elaborate. Yes, that's truth. Because uh, first of all, Nawata can say, mm, meeting this lady, to me, it was a blessing from God. Because uh, the time when we started to date and and then I took her to, to come and stay with me. And then most of people started hating me. Like they started to change. Even the people that we are staying with uh, at the yard, they started to change. And then they started to communicate with my family. And then I didn't know how they, they, they reached my family, especially my mother and my younger brother. Because they, they, they didn't want to see, to see us succeeding. Because I struggled a lot. And then. We stayed strong, we stayed together, and then after that, uh, I started thinking that, okay, I saw her, I saw her as like, say, an angel from God. So, my heart just said to me, that, okay, you must marry, marry this woman, because if you didn't take this woman, you're going to suffer. And then, I went home to talk with my dad and told my dad that I want to keep a lobola. A lobola to this lady and then my dad agreed and then after it I went to spoke with my mother and then my mother agreed but all of a sudden he was trying to block me to keep the love for this lady and then I came with a plan and I, I settled down with my wife and then I said to her let, let, let just try to plan our marriage our love and then we will tell we tell them in a short space of time so that they can be a, they can able be able to stop us or distract us and that's that's how i succeed to win this lady so even now today even now today they are still fighting with us because uh some month ago some month ago i got a new job that, uh, that job I went to interview and then I passed. So it was another blessing. So for me to come here at Charis, I'm, like, I'm not a new member. I was a member when the church was at Winnie Mandela. So um, this other lady I take as my sister, Lillian Marovan, is the member of this church. So I told her, you know, I want, I want to go back to the church. Because I know it's been a long, long time ago, not going, not coming from church. So I want to go there. Maybe when I went, maybe when I, I go there, I'll find a peace, and then things will go well. It's fortunate that the thing that I was thinking 
is truth. So I came here today and then the pastor. And so what changes, the, the apostle guided you on what to do moving forward. What changes are you going to implement? Mm, the changes that I'm going to implement. Mm, I want to stay strong with this woman. I'm going to try by all means not to allow anybody to come through us, get, get in, in the middle of us. So what I'm planning is, I'm planning to like, I don't, this, my wife, he wanted, he wanted us to live to go, to live somewhere. So what I'm planning to do, we're not going to live out or to move out. We're going to stay together and pray and come to church, pray each and every Sunday. The, the chance that we get is on Saturday or Sunday, we're going to come to church and then pray together. Yes. I want to talk about your work. You understand? Because you, you are, in your heart here, you are tired. Very tired, Daddy. Concerning the job you are doing. Yes. Huh? Yes, I'm very tired, Daddy. Uh, I speak promotion when I'm standing here. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Last time I was speaking with you about your marriage, when I was praying for you there. Yes, huh? week. it was last week. So now today I'm speaking about what? About promotion. Because you are tired, you want to leave the job. I'm very tired. You I say you want to say. I was even thinking of leaving even this man because I'm huh? tired. I was even thinking of leaving this man because it seems I like. I say you want to leave the job. Don't leave the job. Promotion is coming. Amen. Life, ma'am. Yes. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Okay, my name is Cynthia Malega. I'm coming from uh, Ebony Park in Nidrent. Today, during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay, so today, um, during the service, they just spoke to me about the promotion. Uh, is it something that I've, I've never thought of as I've been going through a lot of challenges at work and I was thinking of leaving their work. So after when he spoke to me, when he called me, he told me about the promotion and he told me that I must not leave the job because the promotion is on the way. Yes. And what challenges have you been facing at work? Okay, at work where I'm working, there are a lot of challenges. Um, I'm considered a lot of pressure. So sometimes I get tired. I feel like I don't even have enough time for like for myself, sometimes because I even work on weekends. So I was even thinking that I think what best is that the, uh, next day in January I must not come back to this job. So as the day have declared to me a word of promotion, I really thank God and I know that it's going to come to pass. Amen. Amen. And how long have you been trusting in God for a promotion? Oh, it's been long. It's been long since I finished my studies in 2019. I've never found a proper job. So today I'm very happy. I'm very happy for God, how uh, everything that is done in my life. Amen. Amen. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you and ministered upon your life? Oh, I feel happy because he, even today when I left my house in the morning, I said today is the big day of my life. So as if like I knew that something is going to happen. So I'm feel, I feel very happy. I'm very glad. You are healed. You are healed. You feel things moving here. Yes. Eh? Yes. Sometimes they were like they are going up on you. Come on, come on, you demon. In Jesus' name, you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. They will never give you food when you are sleeping in Jesus' name. You are free. In his life, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Feli Namavola. I came from Midrand. Today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, prophecy is true. Uh, I was sick and then uh, I was feeling tired and moving uh, object in my boat. And I was having a, a headache. Since uh, after the premium, I'm feeling light and free. Yes, And I thank God for, lo for locating me so that now I, I know that I'm healed permanently. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And so regarding your sickness, did you go to the doctor? Were you given any diagnosis? Um, for now, I didn't go to the doctor. But in April this year, I was admitted in the hospital. So after uh, admitted, after um, discharge in, uh, in the hospital, I was start, uh, sick after sick, sick after sick, mm. uh, until today. And then God located me and then healed me permanently. Yes. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you? I'm very, uh, I feel very, very happy. And uh, uh, it was my prayer. 
so that uh, he can uh, locate me for, for healing because I was struggling a lot since uh, in a breath. I'm seeing a woman there, you are possessed. I'm seeing a spirit covering your face. You feel something covering your face? Eh? I can't hear you. Yes, daddy. It's when you're like walking like this, you feel something come to cover your face. Yes. Huh? And yes. What, from there, what happened? I don't know. From there, you always think negative things. Yes, daddy. Eh? Yes. And you start to have anger. It's a, you are possessed. Touch your stomach. That thing will leave your stomach. That thing will leave your stomach today. In her life, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Precious Msimanga. I'm from Winnie Mandela. The apostle located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. A uh, apostle say, uh, if I walk, there's something, there's something coming covering my face. After that, I don't know what's happening. So it's true what, what he say. And how long have you been experiencing this and how has it affected you? Uh, I, I, I can say it's been long. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And how has it affected you? Uh, a lot because I think it's, that is no man, but I don't know it's a demon. Mm. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you and ministered upon your life regarding this issue that's been troubling you for long as you stated? I'm happy today because the apostle located me and he prayed for me. I'm free today and I'm delivered in Jesus' name. There are things that are coming out from your private. Huh? There are things that are coming here. This thing here. I see them coming out here like a smoke. But this is a blood, it's like brownish blood. I don't understand this thing. Yes. Eh? Yes. It's like brownish. Yes. Come out, you spirit. In the name of Jesus. I heard that these things work with bad luck. People are hating you for what you have not done. Eh? Yes. Is it true what I'm saying, Mama? Yes, that is. Eh? Yes. And this thing started when you are young. Huh? Yes. Even now, people are hating you. Come out! In the name of Jesus. You are free. You are free. You are free. Press your stomach here. How, how do you feel? Huh? I'm free. You are free. Yes. Because your stomach, it was like there was something inside here. Yes. Huh? yes. When you press it, there was something like a spirit inside. Yes. Yes. You are free. Yes. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Elsa Mina Bila. I come from Ivor Park. Today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, I'm happy today. Yes, I'm happy too much. Since last year, my stomach is happy. It's my painful. My leg is painful since last year. And now I'm happy. That I'm happy today because the prophet is locating me. Now is the change situation. I'm happy today. Yes. So, Ma, you're saying you've been experiencing these pains since last year. How have they affected you? Yes, I'm affected too much. Now is doctor and sugar and BP. I'm affected too much since last year. Yeah. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you and spoke to you regarding the sicknesses that have been traveling you for the past year? Yes, now today it is happy, it's happy too much. It's now it's feeling the Now it's the mic. Okay. Yes. Amen. Thank you, man. There's a brother somewhere there that I'm seeing that is trying to do business there. But nothing is working there, yes. Come, this is a demo on this one. This is a demon from your forefathers. You hear me? Yes, man of God. Uh, you people here, you struggle yes. a lot. Yes, man of God. Uh? Yes, man of God. I just arrived yesterday from Khaborone. I'm going tomorrow to Cape Town. But I said, if I'm in Johannesburg, there is no way that I'm going to go without stepping in this place. You are coming from where? From Namibia. From Namibia. Yes, okay. man of God. Someone is coming from Namibia. Yes. And is coming here to receive. Yes, man of God. And I want to, I want to go back to Namibia. Yes, man of God. Oh, uh, thank you. I thank want to you go back to Namibia. Maybe Amen. next year. Amen. Yes. I Welcome. want God to bless you. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. I want God to bless Amen. you financially. You will support us when we come. Amen. Take it in the name of Take it in Jesus' mighty name.
someone from Namibia who has never fallen down. Can you see how he's falling down here? Me, I make sure that you fall down so that you go and tell them at home. Uh, brother, rise up. You are surprised you fell down. Eh? Yes, that. <laughs> yes, daddy. You are surprised. There's too much power, daddy. There's too much power. Yes, daddy. Yes, uh, today <laughs> you have yes. a testimony. I receive it in Jesus' name. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, God. Yes. You, Congratulations. God bless you. Can go. Life, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is um, Tano Kanjungu and I come from Namibia. So today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, um, the man of God today in the Sunday, during the service, um, he located me with a word of knowledge or with a prophecy that said, um, I see a man, this man is trying to do business but nothing is working. And um, I, I confirm the prophecy to be true because um, I've been doing business for quite some time and um, I've been failing in many, many areas. You know, some things will start off always, things, something will start off good, you know, like it's going to materialize, but then at the end of the day, it will just be disappointment. So I really want to thank God for locating me today because of what took part today, you know, and I know that I'm delivered and I deliver indeed. Every stagnation over my life is broken. Every limitation is broken. My finances are free. My family is delivered. Wherever the enemy has tied me to himself, I'm disconnected. Whatever altar, because um, the man of God also said that, um, yes, uh, and this is a demon that has been blocking me from my father's house. I disconnect myself from that demon. And I pray that from today, I will start to move from glory to glory for the glory of God. All the things that I do, every business that I do, it is not for me alone, but just but for the glory of God. Yes. And so how do you feel that the apostle located you and ministered upon your life? Ah, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm a new creation. Yes, I'm restored. The Lord has restored my fortunes. He has restored my testimony. He has restored every finance, every business, every divine helper that the enemy has stolen from me. And I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I'm restored a hundredfold. I'm delivered, yes, in Jesus' name.